Who's that guy cooking some weird shit in the kitchen? It's Dan. What? Hey freaks, welcome to another episode of Tipsy Kitchen. A show where a desperate man seeks attention through strangers on the internet. And as you can tell, I've not found enough attention yet. Otherwise, I would stop. Yeah. Anyways, tonight, as you can tell, I'm wearing a shirt. My hair slightly did. And I've got red lip liner on. What? Mm. Mostly because I'm trying to hide some zits. So I thought I'd bring the attention away from me. But I just brought it back to me with that comment. Anyways, tonight we're going to keep it short, we're going to keep it fun, we're going to keep it young, unlike me and my non-existent clitoris. No, I didn't want to say that. Tonight we're doing something fun, we're doing an actual original recipe by yours truly, Daniel, here in the middle of a city I have not disclosed to you, unless you follow my Instagram, and then it's Columbus, Ohio. Um... We're going to be making an odd dish that I fell in love with randomly. Um, it's got chicken, shredded chicken, it's got cheese, it's got gravy, it's got jalapenos. And tonight I'm going to switch it up, going total versatile here, totally opposite of my grinder profile. Instead of bread to make it a traditional kind of Thanksgiving melt, that I've claimed this to be. I'm going to boil up some potatoes. I'm going to mash them by hand. And we're going to essentially fry the potato, the mashed potatoes up into some kind of sandwich-like contraption for the melt. I know what you're thinking, Dan. I don't watch this show, so why should I care? Good point, Mom. Um, we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna see how it tastes. We're gonna just do it and be happy. So many of you don't know this because I'm not drinking on camera yet, but I'm on my like seventh sangria for the night. Um, tonight's gonna be weird. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be feisty. Like how many Spice Girls can I name right now? Um, it's gonna be tasty. No, it, trust me, it's gonna be tasty. That sounds like I'm trying to like market my OnlyFans account. Like, ooh, it's gonna be tasty. Then I shove a fucking raw onion up my asshole to bake for like three days. That's a recipe, right? Keeping it simple with the recipes tonight, you're just gonna need, you know, four to seven potatoes, a good old Thick jalapeno, what? Feels nice in my hands. A couple cloves of garlic, a whole red onion, some salt and pepper, a little cayenne pepper to give it spice, what? A can of gravy, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. um, you know, at least a cup of sharp cheddar to give that melt some flavor. Some butter, because we're gonna be frying up. Some good old stuff. Yes. Um, some wine, cause yes. And last but not least, some chicken. What? So first up, we are going to boil up the potatoes. I'm gonna keep the skins on them. We're just gonna dice them up a little bit. But stay tuned because, D insert line. While those spuds are boiling, I have already diced up the jalapenos, chopped up these delicious red onions, and minced up my garlic, poured another glass of sangria. While those beautiful little spudkins are boiling up, almost done, we're going to get another pan here on the side ready to saute the onions and garlic to the point where we throw in some of those chicky tens, those chicken slices, and get those prepared for the meal. Also, last week I cut my knuckle open with a bread knife, and tonight I cut the tip of the same finger 
with a different knife. So, um, yeah. The beautiful little babies are sauteing up. Let them get a little translucent here. Um, so next we're going to drain these potatoes. I did a fork test for those of you who are new to cooking um, and what I learned growing up. Take a fork, take a knife, anything, poke it through some dense little nuggets in there. If your fork goes through it so easily like that, your potatoes are done. Um, or you can do it the professional way and like time it, but sure. Um, so anyways, we're going to drain these bad boys and we're going to start to hand mash them with the skin on. We're just going to need some butter and I'm going to use a little bit of milk. Stay tuned. These little guys remind me of my middle school graduation photo. Steamy, awkward looking, oddly delicious. I guess that's weird to say about a middle school photo. I apologize to everyone. With a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, some whole milk, a couple pats of butter. These bad boys are ready to crumble under my might. So while I get these mashed up with these onions and garlics translucent enough, close to my skin tone. Yep. Um, we're gonna add some of those chicky tens. We're gonna start getting those chickens sauteed up so we can shred it up and get ready for the rest of the meal. Oh my god, uh, stay tuned. With enough outside pressure towards the inside center, these lumpy ass cubes are mashed. Mm. And delicious. Yes. Oh my god. If only we could do this to the American government and the political system that we live in. Oh wait. We can. I threw in those jalapenos to saute up here. Uh, I like my jalapenos a little bit, um, what's the word? Drunk dictionary help me. Solid? Crunchy? Uh, when I eat some. So yeah. So we'll let this saute up. I am putting a lid on it to keep the chicken moist. I apologize. Many people don't like that word. Tender. Ugh. Anyways, put a lid on it while it's cooking. This will trap in so much of that moisture to keep your chicken so delectable. Damn. Potatoes can just sit there for the side. You can scoop some out with your finger. If you want to eat them, that's fine. Um, once all of this has cooked up, we will start to shred the chicken once it's cooled down a little bit. We'll start forming this into the thing I need to form it into. I'll reapply some lip liner. I'll answer some of your questions that you've been dying for me to answer. Stay tuned. It is Q&A time! Oh my god! So while waiting for everything to cook up, I'm gonna drink some more of this juice. And I'm gonna answer some of your questions that some of you had. Um, so Daniel, what's the circumference of your ass? Uh, pi r squared. Daniel, what are your hopes and dreams for the future? I honestly just want to survive. So, welcome to a new segment where I'm coming up with failed entry segments um, for my intros to Tipsy Kitchen. So many words I just used there for one thing. Um, so tonight's episode, I was going to be like, oh my god, how deep can he throw the banana? Um, the answer is, I can't. Um, you shouldn't, because what if the peel comes off, right? Uh, what else? Oh my god, what that mouth do? And then I put a mashed potato masher to my face. I did that, actually. Um, what else? Hmm. 
Another intro is. Do, 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 do. What do he do? Anything? No. Welcome to Fail Segments. So we're going to drain some of the oil and butter that came off the chicken and all the vegetables uh, here in a colander. I'm going to let it rest, let it cool down before I put my little nubbins of a hand onto them. So we're going to get this skillet back onto the high temperature. It's not high, it's like medium. Um, I'm going to form these little spudkins into hopefully four hash brown like things but not hash brown like very kind of bread forming things um fry them up it's gonna be a thing it's gonna be a, a journey it's it's my mecca into the cooking world Stay tuned. Bum bum. Hey, turtle. So here's where it's about to get a little weird. Uh, I guess that's the premise of my show, right? So I have all these mashed potatoes on a beautiful cutting board. I'm sprinkling some cayenne pepper into it to give it a good spice. Yes. So I'm going to just literally put my fingers and hand into this cleansed of course I'm going to mold this into a hash brown form we're gonna see what happens um, if you lose interest after this I get it but don't hi everyone welcome back to my OnlyFans account oh wait wrong channel this is just me Literally, just fisting and fingering some mashed potatoes. I promise this is going somewhere, guys. <laughs> maybe. Maybe it is. As you can see, me putting my fingers into the beautiful pile of mashed potatoes has led to the formation of something like a bun, kind of. So I am going to throw a few pats of butter on a hot skillet and I'm going to sear the outsides of each of these bad boys so we can get something a little more solid. We're coming up on the finalization of whatever the hell I'm drinking and cooking into submission. Thank you. Welcome to my TED Talk. So what I'm doing now here in between drinks is Frying each side of these potato buns just slightly enough, crispy enough, to essentially start forming a shell. Oh, and then I'll flip them, get it on the other side. That way when we do a final cook with everything together, it'll all melt, it'll be crispy, it'll be delicious, it'll be delectable, delightful. Oh, what's another D word? Devilish. Thank you. Just like my love life, these mashed potato sandwich lumps are sloppy. <laughs> They're ugly. They're burnt. But they're mine. So I, I love them. So over here in a mixing bowl, I have diced and shredded up a little bit of the chicken. I have added a cup and a half of the cheddar cheese. I have added the onions, the garlic that were sauteed, and a whole cup of gravy. We're gonna get our hands filthy again, get this mixed up. The jalapenos are also in there. And then we're gonna scoop this up into the potato patties, and we're gonna start melting this into a delicious semi-sandwich. Here's the premise of WAP. <laughs> So we're gonna take these beautiful, beautiful buns made of just purely mashed potatoes. We're gonna slather one side of each in this beautiful mixture of chicken and stuff I threw in there. And then we're gonna slowly melt it into God, a weird looking sandwich thing. 
we're gonna let these bad boys simmer on each side at a medium temperature just to get everything evenly warm. Let that cheddar cheese start to melt. Give them a good flip. Once it is heated and melted to your desire, plate it. We'll give it a few minutes, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna drink my ninth sangria like a good white girl I am. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha Fucked up flipping that one. But this one is looking so sexy. <sighs> Damn. Bitch, how you get so thick? All right, I made you. So, here we have it. A beautiful potato melt filled with brown gravy, jalapenos, onions, garlic, salt, pepper, cayenne, and cheddar cheese. It is delightful. And the good thing is, if you can't get the potato to harden enough, it's just, it doesn't matter. It's delicious. Mm, 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 mm. So, until next time, you freaks, stay weird, stay stupid. Um, you can tell it's the end of the show because I've licked all of my lip liner off. Um, yeah, be weird with each other. Stay weird. Weird. This has been another episode of Tips Kitchen. Also, the most expensive thing. I just spit everywhere. On the menu was chicken, like $7. Um, if you would like me to cook this for you, don't 